So here we have the BMW 325i Coupe on an 11 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see that it's a two-door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boots and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we've seen the interior from this exterior point of view. You get four leather seats, as you can see. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the speedometer and fuel gauge and over on the right-hand side, the rev counter for the car. In the middle, you can see the total miles. They are 86,738. You can change the information display just above that by pressing a button on the end of the indicator stalk for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information. And above that, it will show you what gear this car is in. It's an automatic and we're in park at the moment, of course. Uh, out to the steering wheel, we have stereo and phone controls. Stereo controls continue over on the right-hand side as well. And then the minus and plus paddles are so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox. Over in the center, you'll find the main screen for the car, which includes, as you can see, satellite navigation. We can go back to the main menu and there's lots of different options on here. So firstly, telephone. Uh, this is of course where you would pair your phone up. All the movements I'm making on the screen are all being done using the iDrive system, which is essentially this dial. You can do virtually everything from here. Uh, but you have got a collection of buttons that you can hit. So we're on the main menu, for example, at the moment, uh, but you could go to your uh, radio menu either directly from here or up here by turning the dial to radio, pushing the dial down, we're then in the radio menu. Uh, and you'll be able to see that this car has got AM and FM radio available to us there. If you're listening to your own music, you can do. That's done under the CD multimedia heading just there. Of course, we have a CD player. On top of that, we've got a USB input which you can see being highlighted now, Bluetooth audio and auxiliary input as well. So loads of ways to listen to your music in this car. Working our way down, we have the dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. This button will turn your air conditioning off or back on, and it's on of course when that light shows, or hit auto. When you do so, the car will take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain the two temperatures that you've asked for. So override it, press auto again, you'll go back onto your own previous setting. With the volume for the stereo and the CD player just there. Beneath that, we have some storage, a cigarette lighter or 12 volt charging socket, and you can close that over. We have the gear lever for the fully automatic, last of all. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbourne's. We'd love to hear from you soon.